Grade here with another Matilda replay. Today it's on Mines. Uh, pretty tier 4, well, tier 4, mostly tier 3 match. Not a bad matchup for the Matilda. Um, other team looks halfway decent. Uh, not a lot of high players at these tiers, but uh, a lot of orange and yellows over there, so it's a, it's a decent matchup. Look at this SU-26. I don't know where he's going, but uh, absolutely no cares crossing the line there. So there's the mad dash to the to the hill, which obviously the Matilda will never participate in with its speed. So uh, not much I can do right away. And I decided to park here to uh, help out with the, the the island over there. Not the greatest shot, but, you know, with the ammo that I got in this, might as well throw it out there. Did that SU-26 pull back fast enough? Yes, he did, apparently. So here I'm trying to get a uh, shot on that Covenator through the bushes. I do hit one there, but it means I don't get a shot on that SU-76. He gets tracked over here, and I decide to uh, punish him for that that mistake. Now we lose our scout up front, and uh, he goes away, but like I've said in previous replays, I've got enough ammunition where I can blind fire and secure kills. Looks like the SU-76 met a martyr. Good job, Martyr. The island fairly secure. Now I'm able to uh, move up. Not exactly into the hill, but into this uh, four line and uh, see if I can help help out with the other tanks up here. And the Martyr's got the, uh, the scouting on the, on the island taken care of. Looks like we're doing okay on the 8-9 line as well. I was going to up, come up here to get that medium one, but I get exactly one point of damage on it. And that's why I say I prefer damage over kills. That was only even worth a shot. I take the hit, I actually bounce the hit, and rush him to make sure that uh, he can't keep up with me. Although my Arties might have uh, hit me if they had reloaded in time. I hear I'm trying to help out the uh, Martyr with the Electo, but uh, he gets taken out. I don't know why the Electo came over here. He would have been safe behind that rock. But uh, he decided he wanted to point at me. Now the 72 medium, he's got a pretty good round. And uh, he's flanking over to my left. So we're going to work on this island. And I drop down here. I don't exactly see what happens to him. But he's over there one second. And I decide to cross the water to flank behind these two M8A1s, and then he's gone. Looks like an M2... Nope, one of the M8A1s took him. So I decide to keep pushing uh, on the far side of this island. We were doing halfway decently up until that point, but now... We've got my two Arties up north, the SU-26s. They don't have a lot of range down here. Uh, a medium three up there, I don't know why he's way up there. And in fact, the, uh, the Arties are going to call him on it here pretty soon. Now, coming around like this, either I'm going to face off against their guns, or I am going to get the jump on them. Or they're charging up to the flag, one of the three. Fortunately, with the Matilda, you basically have to pick a route and commit to it. Unfortunately this time it works out where I get the jump on this M8A1 
and he cannot turn that turret fast enough. Here's the Yardie. Um, I could have played Ridgeline with them, but I decided just to take the hit. I hadn't taken any damage up until that point. And there's the final M881, and again, it takes him a while to twist that turn around. And the SU-26 that moved forward secures the kill. Pretty short round. Uh, again, this is before I was actually thinking about commenting on these, and uh, so I don't have the end game stats. But uh, I have the, uh, or this will be uploaded to New Meter, and uh, I happen to know that the stats are six kills, eight damage, 1,100 damage dealt, and about right around 911 experience for 17,000 credits. Not just a real quick minds match, nice and clean. Uh, like I said, the, the teams were, were not all that out of bounds. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Have fun.